circle. Adam Smith falls over off the ball, but Lewis Cook continues. And now a chance for Wilson in the penalty. It's gone down, and Callum Wilson wins the cherry. He's a best back kick. Of course he does. It's another penalty for the Cherries. And Joshua King is usually the taker. He's not playing. Callum Wilson has missed one this season. Who takes it? Wilson has the ball. Well, we'll just see the game. The goalkeeper is Rico. The striker is Wilson. The score is 1-0 to Bournemouth. Rolls it just left of centre. And Bournemouth take an early lead here. And that could be the thing that breaks Fulham's spirit early on. Wilson, goal. Yeah. Good penalty. Ones that hit the net always are. I have to say that it's been a really good start for us. The possession we've had and the attacks we've had have looked dangerous. But that was quite a silly challenge, rather. Was it Mensa? He's, he's a bright spark, isn't he? I thought you were going to say he didn't put a lot of thought into the challenge or something like that. But, uh, <laughs> so Callum Wilson scores. That puts him clear as the Cherries' top scorer for the season with five goals. A chance for the Cherries. Fraser with Brooks, two on two here. Fraser plays it in. David Brooks for 2 0. It is 2 0. David Brooks seems to love scoring on the road. One at Watford and now one here in Fulham. And the Cherries, despite probably being second best in the second half, find themselves two goals clear and heading for three more points. Clinical, uns unselfish. What a goal. Fulham attacking us, having a load of possession. The lads just combine to win the ball back in half time. It's Fraser who, who carries the ball 30, 40 yards. Brooks, he makes a fantastic run and shoots through the keeper's legs. Fantastic goal. Well, what were we talking about before the game? We heard from Ryan Fraser making the right decisions, unselfishness. That was it there because he could have gone on himself on the outside. Brooks's run was clever, onside, perfectly timed to roll it through the keeper's legs. And before Fraser's ball, by the way, we've got to say Wilson with a little sliding toe in on the halfway line. Does that Fraser away? Yes, just as important, Chris, the way they won the ball back on the halfway line, just by getting a press and closing down. United next Saturday. Fraser plays it through. Wilson to really put it to bed. Right foot in, and the Terry's at home and hose. And it's Callum Wilson for the second time in the afternoon who sends those travelling supporters wild. And once again, Fulham proving their happy hunting ground for the Cherries. Wilson twice, Fulham nil, Bournemouth three. Well, what a strike. I think he's done him on the near post, hasn't he? I know he had loads of pace on the shot. What a finish. Cracking strike from Wilson. We talk about making the right decision and being unselfish, but there Wilson was right to go at himself. He was thread through, and he did him indeed beat the hapless Rico at the near post. Yeah. It looked like he had no idea where his goal was. No, he, there was so much pace on the ball. You know, keepers have to criticise for getting done on the near post, but that one absolutely flew past him.